here in MTU, we're very passionate about sustainability. In the Department of Process Energy and Transport, we deliver programs on sustainable energy engineering and automotive technology and management. In sustainable energy engineering, we're very focused on thermodynamics, mechanics, and renewable energies, looking at hydro energy, ocean energy, wind energy, solar energy, and really passionate about what we can do in terms of sustainability for the planet and that idea of enough for all forever. I co-lead a research group that's affiliated with the department, Meso Research, and that has about 20 plus members at the moment working on various different sustainability-based or energy-based research projects. But the group broadly is focused on various different challenges and problems that we have at you know, societal level currently around the energy challenges and, and the climate challenges that are facing us. So a lot of our projects are related to sort of mechanical, thermal and fluid systems and renewable energy systems and looking at optimizing their performance or evaluating you know, how we can improve those and better address the problems that are facing us you know, in the medium term. One of our projects is the Enberg project. It was originally called Zero 2020. It was a refurbishment project. We did it at MTU. We finished that in, in 2012 and it involved refurbishing a section of our 1974 building to effectively a zero energy standard. My PhD is about single-sided natural ventilation and in single-sided natural ventilation we have an occupied indoor environment with openings at only one side of enclosed space and this is least efficient yet most common scenario in natural ventilation and we're trying to improve the performance of this system using airflow guiding components. My final year project is looking at the viability of sheep wool insulation so I decided to do it because we are throwing away sheep's wool at the moment especially during Covid because it just has no value but the material is brilliant like it should be being used as building insulation in Ireland so what I'm trying to do is understand the thermal properties of it and then I want to compare it to other products that are on the market to see if it's even viable to be used in that sense. Within our automotive department we have three primary automotive and transport degrees so we have an automotive degree in technology, an automotive degree in business management and a transport management degree. Across the range we have a big emphasis on sustainability whereas on three different degrees we cover sustainability from three different aspects from over technical side to a technology side leading into sustainable management and how we can build a greener future together. I suppose a big question we get asked here at MTU when people see vehicles in a workshop is are we teaching mechanics? This is not the aspect of this course we look at here we cover that in our trade side of the section whereas what we look at here is the clean side of the industry per se. Our students are technically competent is what we look at. So behind me today you'll see that we have a hybrid vehicle and electric vehicle. So obviously at MTU we're constantly looking at building for the future so we need to make sure our students are working on the very latest vehicles so that when they leave here they're fully equipped for industry. There's a real hands-on approach with the course but I also like that there's also a lot of theory based so that when we go out to the automotive industry working that we also have that theory behind us. I'm excited to see how what the future holds in regards to if petrol and diesel will actually still be here maybe 10 years time but by the way that how things are going I really don't think so I think everything will be electronic. The industry is going to change over the next few years obviously with the petrol and diesel going out and electric coming in I think there's a lot of opportunities for students coming out of this course. For anybody who's looking to come up with a slogan what I would think is think of people right this planet basically is something we're trying to preserve for the people in it but we also need the planet for everything else that's in it but fundamentally I think sustainability is about people right and about people recognizing the challenges that they have to keep this planet here and that means looking at a number of different things and therefore there's something called the sustainable development goals which are brilliant there's 17 of them and if students looked at them they might get some inspiration of where to go with their ideas. I would certainly recommend any student who's looking at it maybe possibly coming up with a slogan or a campaign to embrace change our complete industry is embracing change. By 2035, it would not be possible to buy a new, a new vehicle with a petrol engine. So we will embrace change, we will embrace autonomous. So I would say to students, look at this as a blank canvas, embrace the opportunity, embrace the challenge, and put the best foot forward.